This is a video abstract for the paper published in Neuron on March 2018, entitled Structural Basis for Draxin Modulated Axon Guidance and Fasciculation by Netrin 1 through DCC. Netrin comes from the Sanskrit word netra, which means the one who guides. It is a glycoprotein that guides axons as they navigate from the neuronal cell body to make connections to a distant target. Commissural axons have growth cones decorated with a receptor called DCC, which means deleted in colorectal cancer. Growth cones look a bit like a hand searching for areas rich in netrin. Eventually, the growth cone extends itself over a substrate covered with netrin. If in addition to DCC, another receptor called UNC5 is present, the growth cone may get in contact with netrin, but it leads to repulsion or de-adhesion. In a previous paper we published in Neuron in 2014, we reported a crystal structure of netrin in complex with DCC and identified two DCC binding sites. Using axon guidance assays, we showed that one of the DCC binding sites on netrin is shared by UNC5 and that replacement of DCC at this site by UNC5 switches the netrin response from attraction to repulsion. It seems that we had provided structural evidence that netrin acts as a classical bifunctional ligand for a single-pass membrane receptor pair. However, at the same time, another netrin DCC crystal structure was determined by the labs of tessier lavin and Nikolov that identified a third DCC binding site on netrin. This raised the question, is the clustering of receptors by netrin more complicated than previously thought? Draxin is a guidance cue recently discovered by the Tanaka group from Kumamoto University and it seems to also be involved in netrin DCC mediated axon guidance. It interacts with the tip of the DCC receptor further away from the cell membrane where netrin binds. We perform small angle X-ray scattering experiments at the EMBL Petra Biosax beamline P12 to study the structural properties of Draxin in solution. The analysis of scattering curves confirm predictions that Draxin is only partially folded. Ying Liu at Peking University prepared Draxin to co-crystallize with DCC N-terminal 4IG domains. And, with the help from Dr. Junyu Xiao, she solved the structure. Only the most C-terminal residues of Draxin fold into a cysteine knot-like domain we named Draxin C, which mainly binds to the IG4 domain of DCC. The major binding epitope on DCC is the CD loop of IG-like domain 4, as can be seen in this detailed interface interaction. We use cos cells transfected with DCC to test binding to Draxin and mutants. We could confirm that the interface between Draxin C and DCC is relevant for Draxin binding to DCC. Interestingly, another biophysical study by the Solner Lab at Tübingen University reported a direct interaction between netrin and draxin. This led Chuhin Bomik from the Myers lab to determine a crystal structure of the complex between netrin and a fragment of draxin that is unstructured but very conserved and bound to netrin. The structure demonstrates that draxin binds to netrin in the area that covers one of the DCC binding sites. Using Avexis binding assays and mutagenesis, we confirm that the interactions shown in the structure are relevant. So now we have two DCC sites on netrin that can swap with other actors, namely UNC5 at site 2 and Draxin at site 1. So there is a triangle of interactions among netrin, Draxin and DCC. In the meantime, a question was raised in the axon guidance community. Does netrin guide axons through free diffusion or is it locally expressed? New data published by the Schedertal and Butler labs seem to favour the latter. Our structural data are very instructive in this respect. We propose that when Draxin is bound to DCC on a growth cone of an axon, it can help recruit netrin. And subsequently, netrin can bind to DCC expressed on a second axon to form a bridge. This may provide a molecular basis for cell adhesion between two axons leading to fasciculation. The most prominent phenotype for Draxin knockout mice is defasciculation, which is the unraveling of axonal bundles. This is an adhesive process which has led us to propose a model where two axons decorated with DCC adhere to each other when both netrin and draxin are present. Draxin thus acts like an adhesive glue by binding both netrin and DCC. It would be fascinating to investigate this adhesion process in more detail, as it may also explain how the axons crawl along a netrin gradient according to the haptotaxis model. We are now working on a detailed understanding of this process.
This was a joint collaboration between the groups of Jawai Wang at the Dana Farber Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School, and at Peking University in Beijing, China. Rob Myers from the European Molecular Biology Laboratory at the Hamburg Outstation in Germany, and Yan Zhang and Zheng Xiao Labs at Peking University. This work has been supported by funds from the Peking Tsinghua Center for Life Sciences and the NIH for Jiawai Wang, and the National Key Research and Development Program of China for Yan Zhang and Jun Yu Xiao. Tu Hin Bomuk and Xu Fao Gao are supported by the iPod program, co-sponsored by the Marie Curie Postdoctoral Program from the European Union.